Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Hot Hound Water, and it was uploaded by Channel Awesome, and latest video is Kingdom of the Commercials, Nostalgia Critic, fuck yeah, let's check it out, yay. Yeah. Oh yeah, this. Hey, wait a minute. You didn't shout commercials like you always do. Yeah, you oh, said yeah, earlier right. and earlier every special. Oh, that's right. Thanks for reminding me. Well, say it. Be say it. Okay. Oh, so what did you do? It? I traveled back in time to the last video to shout it out there. Oh. Guess you oh, can't get okay. earlier than that. Can you use that time machine for actual important stuff? No. Thought not. Okay, bye. Well, bye. After these messages. After these messages. Here you go. After these messages. After these messages. Come on, man. We'll you don't have to check. It's in the last video. Joey, we're going to Ponderosa. Here I am, just like Bill Cosby in the new movie. Oh, Man's boy. Six. Every now and then that sentence you should stay far away from. <laughs> Bill Cosby, Leonard, Part 6, and Ponderosa have all been clarified. It's messed up. I'm yet another. I don't remember this commercial. In no reality is Bill Cosby giving you thumbs up a good thing. That looked creepy. Arriving, I enter cautiously. To say that something Cosby didn't practice would be a severe understatement. Oh boy. Then I see it. Now get a Leonard Part 6 mini spy camera at Ponderosa. Cosby Cosby Cosby. shouldn't have a secret camera. I think he's kept enough secrets, don't you? For only 99 cents with any There's purchase. worse things coming right. out now with these other right. celebrities too. Mr. Cosby, you know you have a 100 feet restraining order to touch literally anything. There's a family feeling at Ponderosa. Family feeling might not uh, be the best choice that. of words there. I also no. love Cosby when bothered to show up for an ad for his own movie, but he was all over Jello, like him being. Yeah, all I remember him showing the Jello commercials. I can't imagine why he showed up for these ads more. We've got Jigglers. Maybe because he's in the future, just hearing him say the word Jigglers would I make think I've everybody seen this cower one. in a ball and say, "I've never heard that word, but it sounds wrong when he says it now." Jiggle, 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 jiggle. <laughs> Is that, uh, jiggle, Indiana's jiggle, father? Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Stop! I ain't enough of that! With our bare hands! You've done enough with your bare hands, sir. <sighs> it's okay, I only have three more. Jigglers all the way! Santa loves jigglers. Not to the disturbing <laughs> degree I do, but still- Don't sound right. Oh, what fun these jigglers are when Santa's on his way! Never playing that clip again! Just don't, Santa don't, do, just, just, do, just don't play it. Do, oh boy. My lawyer has an airtight case. He'll never take me alive. Oh, for stealing jigglers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> In a way. Oh, you always wore that shirt every time it was a commercial Oh, yeah, Leonard video. Part 6. God, they knew what every kid wanted to be in 1987. Is that what this was made? I guess for what they had to do, this was probably the best ad they could get out of it, but I think it goes without saying, just about everything Ugh. that happened in the future tainted this ad's reputation. Too bad. Though as future there's sucks. Well, it was an ad for Twin Peaks. What? I didn't get the that. harsh planet of New Texas. Christ, I already love this ad. Oh, Why? Texas got sick of threatening freedom, so they made their own planet oh, out of Mercury, which is almost as warm as old Texas. Holds a substance so precious what is that outlaws from every hole in the galaxy come to steal it. Curium, the irreplaceable fuel of the universe. What? A little subtle in a post unobtainium world, you may want to try Kid Quigidium, or Oil Gold Tysis, or Obvious Commentary Pretentiousness. Without its red crystals, no ship could fly. It's a no stupid commercial! Work. Someone was needed to protect the Curium from the ultimate outlaw, Tex Hex this? Evil Gang. This whole ad is doomed if it was written by Ted Cruz. The townspeople asked for a thousand lives. Do. They got one. Brave Star. This is another one Who of those action that? figure lines that also got an animated series out of it. And the whole line oh. feels like if that space cowboy from Silverhawks got Homelander's PR firm. Homelander, keep your boy, man. He's creepy. The speed of and a human. The strength of a bear. And the text He's a shadow. Mr. Game & Watch. How long is this ad? Have we even seen the toy yet? Star. Oh. That's what he looks like? 
Hey, I, I mean, that's not what not I expected. Bad, but for all that buildup, I wanted Clint Eastwood with like a T-800 <laughs> yeah, body. Yeah, I should have said that like to David Hasselhoff on Cowboy Ken's body. Only you know the answer. He looks like he's from the Barbie universe. The power. And the power is cinnamon delicious. It kids okay, too as impressed someone with who that. has never seen the show or the toy, I would buy this. It's so much shoved in your face gruffness. It does look like it would be a good know. time. Fly on, Manimal Cowboy. Fly on. Brave Star from Mattel. Each sold separately. The extra okay. R stands for Rated R. Yeah, that's what it stands for. What would you do for a clone? I've seen bar? this commercial. Yeah, these ads used to be all over the place. The premise was very simple. The announcer would ask a person on the street the if they would do something silly. When they say no, they offer them a Klondike bar, and of course, they end up doing it. It's, would you act like your dog? What the hell's going on yeah, here? No, no, thanks. For rich, creamy Klondike ice Guy's cream? Guy's a creep. Yeah, no bark, no right. bite. Now speak, doggy. Now strip naked, put on that collar, and lick my leather boots. That's right, no. doggy. Good doggy. Did you play patty cake for an almond Klondike? You get the idea, though. No matter how Just insanely stop. mundane the request, they always gave in when a Klondike bar was offered. Would you wear this arrow on your head? Somebody might see me. You get a Klondike bar, luscious vanilla ice cream. You want around? It's not that well, great. Right. And they say the elderly can't live dangerously. Holy shit. They've been waiting all their lives for someone to ask them these weird requests. That's Would you be a chicken for a Klondike bar? <laughs> she didn't even question it. She was like, Finally, my okay. chance to reveal I was the sound chicken limbo made when he powers? got hit in the balls has come to fruition. Yeah, no cluck, no Klondike. Okay, that's just, this is stupid. That bitch just laid an egg. <laughs> Some of them almost come across as creepy. I can stand here. Okay, stand there. Just stand here for a Klondike? Uh -huh. I don't have to act like a monkey. <laughs> Rich chocolate ice cream. Oh my god. <laughs> Smothered in milk chocolate. And this horse shit. And with blood on that board and Jigsaw laughing. Well, what, what would, would you, you do, do for a clean, clean pair of pants? pants? Maybe every <sighs> 10 years, these ads make a little bit of a return. Hey, Shakespeare, would you write a TV sitcom for a Klondike bar? Fuck you. Who's talking about Willie? <laughs> Some of them fresh out of mushroom hallucinations. <laughs> the big issue is that what was asked of them was never crazy enough. What we really need is a few of these. Would okay. you choose which of your children would live and which would die? No. How about for a Klondike? Susie. Would you unleash a 12 monkey That's style plague that wiped out humanity? No. How about for a Klondike bar? Still no. How about for <laughs> two Klondike bars? Oh, that's cool. Would you kill a really? person? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I didn't even offer you anything. That's okay. Really? Am I the person? You're just gonna have to find out. What the fuck? He I guess was. these ads work. I mean, we are still talking about them. But like I said, I just feel like they need to go a little further to be funny. What would you do for a Klondike bar? No! Except that one. No notes. Just burn the fucking hair off. What the shit? Watch Zelda Nintendo. become a legend on your Nintendo Entertainment I've System. I've never seen Zelda! this. Frank, we have no idea how to market this game. Can you call your community theater Who friend that crazy? <laughs> What? Away, okay, I'm Your done with this. Your possessed by Vigo again! Who the, that's what's the was. idea behind this? Renfield doesn't get 8-bit games, so he tries his high school improv on nobody? Is he supposed to be white? Pee-pee-pee-hens! pee Yeah, what? name the henchman. That's why this game series is still going so long. Zelda! They really didn't have to market games Zelda! that good. Legend of Zelda. The commercials were so shit. You know the ad agency was handed this and was saying, What the hell's a Zelda? Oh, uh, I think Sometimes it's a Swedish commercial. Sometimes the commercials had a lot of spoilers well, in it. Is in. Just have him doing that, shouting random words from the instruction book. Yes, sir! We're brilliant. Fear not, though. What as the shown in this other commercial it? that came out around the same time. When you don't know how to advertise Zelda, rap about it. It's the Legend of Zelda, and it's really rad. Those creatures from What the fuck? Come bad. on! I never thought I'd say this, but we have to cut these versions some slack after seeing how these guys handled it. Octorox Tech Tech's leave it. It's all terrible. With your help, our hero pulls through. The funniest part isn't even the rap. It's how they write these two like an alien race trying to pose as an 80s teen comedy. They are aliens. Did you see the latest Nintendo newsletter? Whoa, nice. They sure as hell are humans. Get my hands on that game. Sorry, I get excited for anything put in front of me. Whoa, my hand! I like to get my hand on that hand. What? Yeah, get the shit out of here. Awesome. Intense. No kidding. We oh, didn't even God. get to it. Don't want to sneeze now. 
Okay, so neither of these ads really had an idea for what the game this was commercial like, sucks. but it is fun seeing what they came up with when they clearly have no idea what to come up with. Awesome. It's ass, my young. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Let's dream they can have it. Wow. Let's go way back, all the way to the 1960s. It was a Holy peaceful shit. time when nobody had anything to worry about. And westerns like the Roy Rogers Show were crazy popular. So obviously he had a lot of merchandise that well, I never seen this. out of the box about how to kill people. My partner, Reed. Dude! My new Roy Rogers quick shooter. What the fuck head. was that? How would you like to oh, be he had so a gun American? Inside. Even your headwear is armed. I think how did he like get that prepared? Like a fraggle taking cover in your hat like a war trench and unpacking heat whenever somebody whispers too loudly. And you'll always be ready for anything. Remember That's that scene dumb. in The Fugitive where Tommy Lee Jones blew that guy away just holding his gun around the corner? This is the habit. No, I don't remember that, actually. What kind of dirty, complicated Western would have What, what movie was this that again? This is like playing cowboys and Indians if it was between Professor Frank and Inspector Gadget. This I'm would be Inspector too advanced for a home trap. <laughs> I'm everybody else. for five ninety eight or 20 grand in today's money. This just doesn't Hell feel like no. a very heroic toy. I'm waiting for the kid to say, Cowboy Rogers, isn't that something like what the villain in one of your shows would do? Well, the answer is right in my hat. Ah! And you shot him. It's just how real that little gun looks. I mean, a lot of people outside the U.S. got to be looking at this like, Is everything in America armed? Yes. That it's pencil? Tiny gun. It's armed. That cell phone? It's armed. Even the wow. entire floor is made out of guns. The safety is off on half. Holy Try shit, what'd you get all that at? It's inventive, Damn, other than that, but man, who knew Western toys could be so strange? Ask for Ideal's new Roy Rogers quick shooter hat. Sold quick shooter hat. New Texas. Jurassic Park news flash. Oh, what's this? Six, Escape of the dinosaurs. It's not surprising the biggest movie about dinosaurs would make some pretty cool. Uh, that's the not bad, actually. Were cool too. Especially how some of them open with the announcer getting asked now that's like, in the intro. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Real action figure stuff, high Jurassic quality. Park. Don't worry, most of our dinosaurs are gentle vegetarians. <laughs> that one was especially intense. Was it the was. tour guide SpongeBob? <laughs> <laughs> but this SpongeBob my own. Oh, dino damage! I never was commercial. Which is pretty gruesome. Damn, like I remember that dino damage. That, that triggered it in my mind, I remember. What if we made it look like there was real pain involved? Ah. Look out, Triceratops! <laughs> I also love these ads end with the strangest tagline. Just the announcer like a conspiracy theory nut saying, It's happening. Hungry for action? It's happening. Look for the JP mark. It's happening. It's I happening. warned you if we took the vaccines, the dinopocalypse would happen. Now, it's happening. Dinosaurs are on a rampage. Sure, and only the JP team is tough enough to stop them. You also gotta love how half the characters look nothing like in the movies. Muldoon and the Jungle Explorer stuns him. Tim Murphy saves a baby dinosaur. Tim Murphy what is the half that I age. actually it's had that. The is being fried like a banana what the fritter. Fuck? I think this would be a more appropriate toy I for him. I don't think I still have any word. It's a, it might be in a jump pile in the hell old that stuff. What, did they sure. run out of mold? So they were just like, eh, here's the old T2 toys. That looks enough like them. For the mark of I Jurassic Park vehicles, each sold separately. I guess the toys were so popular they started making up more characters for the line. And man, do they pick actors I think were literally born to be toys. I don't get it. Woods are threatened, and only the Dino Put Arnold in here. They look like Jurassic Gladiators. And if you think they look <laughs> ridiculous, wait till you hear their Wolverine? names. T-Rex turned a guns okay. young T-Rex with a trink arrow. Jaws Jackson put the squeeze on a ram head. And Harpoon Harrison hooks the demon. These are I, the names I had that, wrestlers I had that throw one. because they want to keep some dignity to their craft. T-Rex turned a Jaws Jackson, Harpoon Harrison. Slab sure, I lost his hat, bro. Bro. On speed jump. Bolt, Vander Huge. Eh, it'd still be a better sequel than every sequel we've got oh. from these movies. Yeah, can you yeah, imagine they advertise all these for the, the last Jurassic few, Park movies? Ugh. It's the Jurassic World Dominion toys. Play as all your favorite characters, especially wow, this man. clone of a little girl. We want to play with that. Yeah, <laughs> we want dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to have humans for the dinosaurs Sorry, to eat. You have to play with this toy whether you like it or not. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, you yeah, well, my dinosaur will eat you There up. you go. Hey, it's a locust. Jurassic World what? Dominion. This is apparently what you wanted. Well, just because the movies got bad doesn't mean the toys and the ads for them weren't still pretty cool. Yeah, the toys were everywhere. They still are. Dinosaurs eat sold separately. Big, McLarge, huge. Okay. Time to relax. I have.
I've been looking time at that to, to read green text all day. Definitely time to for some Wrigley Spearmint gum. Wrigley Spearmint? Jesus Christ! What? What is Wrigley Spearmint? That well, voice. It's pure chewing satisfaction. No, the correct answer is the f Need more data, That's what I'm please? Wondering. The missiles are now launched. Say goodbye to Florida. I don't think I will. Oh, shit. Yes, I gotta see. Wrigley Spearmint has a mouth pleasing feeling that turns no. you into a Commodore 64 blow up doll. <laughs> so what's That's your a killer. Analysis? This is part of a short series of commercials where computers, through of course non debatable no, data, man. conclude that Wrigley is. Oh, what's that term again? It's chewing You're chewing satisfaction. 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 Was this a phrase I missed in the 80s? You're chewing satisfaction. I don't know, ma'am. One thing you don't want to hear your woman say when she's going down on you. Wrigley Spearmint is pure <laughs> chewing satisfaction. Yeah. I'm going to destroy Are that computer. You pure chewing satisfaction? Well, what do you mean? Insert hand. I'm sure, I see no problem with that. <laughs> You're dumb enough to do it. Satisfying. Uh, so yeah, what was that? I'm saying these ads are pretty lame, but it is an adorable kind of lame. So how come you never talked to me before? Wrigley Spearmint is pure chewing satisfaction. What the fuck? What? My pet monster. Hell yeah, I loved my pet monster when I was a kid. What's it look Even like? Even just hearing the word monster isn't something like this I've never the seen first this thing that before. comes to your mind. Except he's cooler because he looks like one that get thrown in jail on that island from where the wild things are for getting drunk and pissing on shit. What? When he fights battles, he always wins. Yeah. He always wins. Yeah. Nice segue. He's the deadliest creature around, but he's nice. No, he's not Coolest nice and he's killing people. Chains, which I know a lot of kids, including myself, were like, holy shit, this thing is like preschool steroids. And then when you get them, it's just Velcro and plastic. Honestly, oh. it was probably harder to keep them together than to break them apart. But this boy There you go, like folks. Bye, you know. Calm down, kid. Even Frosted Flakes would be like, do my kids sound like that? <laughs> yeah. A tiger. I'm raising some dorks. It's my pet monster, your busting loose. He should be in there. He's big. And scary. And helps people too. Okay, getting some mixed messages here, Adam. Huh? And scary. And helps people too. And Just helps did my taxes people. last week. I didn't know plastic chains were deductible. My pet monster plays Fuck all this day. damn thing. Get rid of it. Looking great. The funny thing is, they tried to market it as a girly toy too. Like with the spin-off, My Monster Pet. Monster pet. Which, by the way, what is the what? hierarchy of these things? Do, like, my pet monster enslave my monster pets? But look, they suddenly go from creepy and what gross is to this? soft and lovable. Up. Well, sure. monster pet. Monster pet. You didn't have to do that. Me. So friendly. Girls didn't ask for that said, shit. When the chains are on a girl, it looks like the monster is kidnapping her. Don't oh, give me that God. look in the other commercial. You were looking at this scene saying, Are they playing or is he dragging her to his nerf dungeon? You know this is a little messed up. It is. Uh-oh. Beware of monster pets. You get detention, you get detention, you get detention. Nobody should bring a toy to work that has a Shrek dick nose. And he's your That's friend, too. Why did you say that? Now I can't unsee it. Okay, it's a little odd, but it got me hyped for the toy, and all these years later, I still think it looks pretty cool. My pet monster has breakaway chains from Amazon. It looks like a, tire, it looks like a Squidward and nose, too, to with bumps out on the it. movie. Oh, don't, don't. Oh, no, they made a movie of that shit. Well, uh. you guys sure look like you're ready for a good time. Oh, is everybody my in the 80s God. a psycho? This is an ad I for think Canada so. Dry. And because God knows the PSAs weren't enough nightmare fuel, our neighbors that in the North had to make fuel. their sodas we'll terrifying, too. In that holiday spirit, eh, Fred? I don't want to know what he does to these dolls when the party is over. No. Hurry up, Jeanette. Yeah, smile, Jeanette. Like you're not being held against your will. Each light, refreshing beverage I is the best you can pour. And the best gets even the smallest starting party. Oh, what Off the fuck? Then we can't humans. So soon, I was really enjoying a Megan Christmas. Here's the Harry. The Harry. I was expecting to get really creepy. Just let me go. I want to see my children again. I really creepy. Get the party started. Like Mess it up, dry. man. Quick, Jeanette. The Canada Dry. The purge just started. Is there really anything else to say about this one? It's, it's creepy, stupid. horrifying, and does not make me want whatever it's selling. Unless it's a Muppet flamethrower. Which I'm pretty sure these guys uh, are. A Muppet, right not this. Nothing else yet. to say, the but coffee. all around unpleasant. Quick, Jeanette. The Canada Dry. I'm in the twilight zone. <laughs> What the fuck? Ever wonder what the Power Rangers. Rangers really talk about? These guys are gonna make us miss who's the boss. 
What? I wish Tony were here. What would he do? Hit them with a feather duster? Tony's okay. I thought that was your edit. You're right. Angela is tough. We're not about to miss who's the boss. It's by 30. Quick, turn on box 33. When did they make this shit? Couldn't even say anything during that. I was so confused. <laughs> yeah, I... What Ugh. accents are those even supposed to be? I mean, I'm already offended watching this, but how offended should I be? It's almost like know. a catch-all to make sure every nationality claims offense at this. I wish Tony well, the power What though. would he do? Hit them with a feather duster? And okay, I can stretch my imagination enough to believe high schoolers can drive robotic dinosaurs to fight giant monsters, but not at teens. Oh my god, ever it's so dumb. with any passion who's the boss. Tony's okay, but Angela's the tough one. I mean, when they ask, what do you think the Power Rangers really talk about? Weren't you expecting something like, My parents are such fascists! They limit my screen time to only 23 hours a day! <laughs> at least yours didn't make so a TikTok people that were watching to Power Rangers your Dude, you can probably the other, the cops on him! The other thing is I'm not sure, I think the bigger question is, why are we just looking at a time slot when fighting a monster? Well, I hate this! I love you guys! Yeah, it makes no sense. Hey, has anybody seen who's the boss? Piss, Piss off, Boomer! Your generation's the devil! They're tits. Sharp, it's pointy tits. It's odd, and like Paw Patrol advertising American Horror Story. It just makes no sense. <laughs> it's by 30! Quick, turn on Box 33! Seriously, Alyssa Milano's a treasure! No, that commercial should never been made. I didn't know you had a new baby in the family. That baby doll this is called its mouth. Baby doll. What the and fuck? It's creepy. Just back then, this looked like a real baby. No. Uh, that damn thing is alive. Oh, you know full well you have no friends to send this to. Don't worry, we'll still have party guests. <sighs> that's worse. Got an announcement about your real baby, except me. Well, that's because you can't act, you little village of the damned. Real baby. You're not supposed to be having babies you're until you're a real goddamn baby adult. And I love you. About as real as a uh, mascot for Squid Games. What are they doing here? Here is this grandma who just looks like she's having none of this. Whose baby is this? Your folks said I was babysitting <laughs> one PIA, not two. I named her Katie. I'm sending out the birth announcements right now. She's a doll. <laughs> Doesn't this sound like she's really saying? She's a doll. What's wrong with you? Do you know it's a doll? Were you born with a terminal case of the dumbs? Can I hold her? There's something Careful. just not right. She's my real baby. Oh, don't worry. I won't drop her like I did with you. Wow. Also, am I crazy? Or is that thing huge? It looks less like a real baby, more like a stunted <laughs> Oompa Loompa. She's my sleepy real baby. Holy shit. I don't know. The doll isn't my thing, but I guess oh my the God, it's okay enough. Real baby and sleepy real baby. Each call me, call me, call. And be on the, the lookout both. for our newest edition, Man Baby. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who are those great 1973. Dolls? She's a doll. What? Okay, I don't do many ads from the 70s, but it's interesting to see how the Hollywood That's life looked through really the eyes old. of Barbie. It's fun pretending they're movie stars, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's Quick Curl Barbie and Mod Hair Ken. Honestly, most of the hey, Barbie's is been around ideas, forever. But there's one part that really stands out. Put a mustache on. Oh him hell no! Make believe he's the bad guy. <laughs> because porno stash equals instant villain. <laughs> and sometimes it does. Stop or it. And play he's the hero. What? Mustache bad, cyburn's good. You realize you're saying this in the decade when everybody had a mustache. What if all these girls had a father who had a mustache? Would they be like, You know, my dad has a mustache. I know. He's behind you. Don't look. He knows we're watching. <sighs> That's fucked up, my young. Turn around. Oh, shit. <laughs> the mustache. Everything else about it is fine. It's just that one weird ass moment. Not a ton else to say about yeah, it. Yeah, that but was weird. Don't grow a mustache. Quick curl Barbie and mod hair can doll. Everybody shave your facial hair and mustache too. From Mattel. Mine very much has an undertone of violence. What? what? A soft drink is not a magic potion, a status symbol, or a badge that says who I am. You know, sometimes you just gotta call something. 90s. And the sprite images nothing adds from the 90s were pretty damn funny. It will not make me more attractive it's to the opposite right. sex, though I it wish it would. Sex on the ad campaign for soda mocked every other ad campaign for sodas. Like that somehow only sexy people drink their product. What do the really beautiful people drink? No the I same hate thing this man. as the rest of us. That if you drink Sprite, it's not that be a pro right at sports. Brad Hill drinks Sprite. If, you if you're really thirsty, I guess. NBA, practice. That the badass people you see on TV are really badass people. 
Turbo Sweet 7! God genius! The can's upside down! Don't talk to me! I don't remember like this commercial at all. I played Hamlet at Cambridge! Drinking a certain soda doesn't suddenly equal a party. What the fuck? Oh man, mine's busted. And like I've joked about several times on these commercial specials, some mascots are downright terrifying. Well, Sunny, that's, that's not Sunny, dude. Oh, oh, hell no. Get that out of here. These ads were goddamn hilarious. There's just one little problem. <laughs> they're doing a lot of things they're telling you not to fall for. Grant Hill was in a lot of these ads, and again, he's well, very what's funny. This one? But he's a celebrity in an ad saying oh. don't listen to celebrities in ads. Would you want an NBA player operating on you, handling a nuclear well, reaction? Well, they're not a uh, doctor or someone you telling you what to drink. Well, my thirst is telling me I want water. The correct answer is Sprite. But I want water. I want Sprite. Who said that to you? Water. Sprite. There's one that literally shows all the money he's getting paid as he advertises the product. Really? Only drink with that cool, crisp, Oh, I thought he's taste. actually gonna show it. It satisfies even my, my real money. thirst. Now that we said don't trust commercials, don't not trust our commercials. <laughs> you can mock these commercials all you want, Sprite, but you know when the campaign is over, you're just gonna go back to doing the exact same things the they commercials are. Commercials are psycho. What the juky. fuck was that? Juky juky. I See that hair? Cans and I got this juky sock. I got this juky There's one reason to drink something, and it isn't to get junk. Want tickets to see Kobe Over Bryant? Sprite? Stop begging and start drinking Sprite. Okay, seriously, I don't want to be too hard on these because really these commercials are goddamn hilarious. I guess they're it'd be like hating those crazy, movies that say we need to eat the rich, despite that they're usually. I don't watch a lot of TV these days, I but I'm assuming the commercials are really, really fucked up with agendas and shit. Am I right? All of Just as long as you don't think <sighs> too hard about it. Do you see? Yeah, I'll just stick with these old commercials. Naked woman. If you do, you probably just need a girlfriend. What? What? I'll buy you. Yeah, it's Sprite. What do you want to get? Ice cream. Okay, we've been running low on PSAs recently, but I think, I think I've found a pretty good one. I think you've done it enough of them. with a woman and her kid walking down the street when it looks like someone's oh, shit. watching them. Let's go, honey. Get a taser, get a gun. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, oh fuck. What the hell, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell? Yeah, why, oh, yeah, is that important? Is the government after you oh or God, something? you're surrounded! Run, bitch, run! Okay, this don't work like this. What? Together, we can find a child by signing up for free wireless Amber what Alerts on your cell phone. Fuck? She was kidnapping the kids? Excuse me, I think my brain needs to explode. Yeah, mine does too. Actually, it already Holy did. Holy shit, was that a good twist! I 100% did not see that coming! First of all, talk about the most that was random. good Samaritans. What, did they get my loan from that Harold and Kumar joke? Even that van, I swear, was giving me evil eyes. Who's driving Shit. a windowless van and not up to something? Screw what I was saying before about these girls. They were probably the ones doing the abducting the whole time. I think Second, she could just set up. Have such a brilliant but insane demented idea. Of course, Canada. The Twilight <laughs> Zone of PSAs. Well, screw Damn. it. You want me over with this one. I'm going to sign up for she all fine, these alerts, though. even if I'm not Canadian. And I will never text stop. I want to see what crazy awesome. twist will be at the end of another one of these stories. In fact, Master. I want a twist like that. Here, I'm gonna sign up for it right now. Boom! There we go. Now where's my twist ending? Your twist ending. Oh hi, Tamara. She just teleported there. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, come on, man. You really gotta do this. You're not walking very fast. Okay, now he's there. Alright, where's the twist uh, ending? Hi, everybody. What's, uh, what's up? Okay, did they kill him or knock him out? Oh, shit. What the fuck? What's happening? Feels so different. What's going on? I don't know, man. 
I know what this is. I know what's going on. I, I know what they did to me. What? They turned me into a Canadian PSA. I would just did not see that coming. Ah! Oh wow. Okay, Wait that's what now. I did. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you stuff it in your face. Oh, Don't God, they're so creepy and unpleasant. Oh, it might look good to eat. Oh, it might look good to eat. That's oh, creepy geez, shit. I can't look at them. Take me away. Now where am I? Oh, no, not this one. Not what? this one. You know what happens if we play this one? Oh, yeah. It's a... The, the whistle thing, yeah. Jiggle, 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 That's it. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. And I'm getting the fuck out of here, so yeah, yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I produce this message.